an African woman's duty. Not an easy one to do. But when you're one, you have no choice. So guys, in my culture, the women do a lot of work. Most of the house maintenance, literally home management, like everything in a home is done by the woman. I also don't know the reason. Sometimes I also sit and question myself, why ask the women? And I get no answer. So guys, ironing is one of the things that an African woman does. And you would keep wondering, how do they do it yet they don't have power? Yes, most of our villages don't have power. But we manage to iron using this. This is an iron box. We use charcoal for ironing. Like charcoal to heat up this box because it's a metal thing. So you just add here charcoal and it heats it up. Then you use it for ironing your clothes. The most unfortunate bit is that it gets rusted especially when it's cold um, because this is um, I, I'm not so sure of the um, of the material used for making it but all I know is it gets rusted as you can notice the body is actually rusted so guys I want to iron today and I opted to share it with you guys you know you're my family so how about we first go clean up this thing because there's a way we clean it up before starting As you can notice the rust is all gone and it's now smooth the reason we do this is because we don't want it to burn the clothes or we don't want the rust that comes here to darken the clothes because the times we're ironing something colored or even white so it gets dirty if you don't clean it on the soil like this and you make sure that where you're cleaning is not wet just do this and at the end of it you make sure you wipe it off to, to ensure that it is smooth enough you fill it with your hands so after this let's go set the fire So this is fire, of course charcoal, so all you do is you transfer it to your iron box or if you don't have maybe already fire in your sigiri or in your charcoal stove you can also just set it straight into the, into the iron box. And usually what I do, I iron at once for the whole week. And then I wait again until the next weekend then I end because you know doing this thing is not easy like you don't have to just wake up anytime or any minute then you feel like ironing then you go and start ironing you need to prepare for it it's not like where there is power where it just it takes just a switch to start ironing and then you be sure, make sure when you're putting it be careful you don't just put it on the ground like this you put it at an angle like this. I don't, I don't know if you're noticing, but you put it at an angle so that the bottom does not get dirty or maybe burn something. So I'm going to leave it open for the purpose of aeration. Like I want it to, the fire to get more hot. So let me just put my ironing plate over here. something heavy like a blanket or even a towel or any heavy cloth and put it at the bottom put like that then maybe let me check if there is another soft cloth here so that I can add on top okay this will do And then of course I get water in the basin. This is going to help me to regulate heat. When there is too much heat in my iron box, I dip it in the water to cool it down. There I go. And 
then also when the fire is taking long to get ready, I always do this. In this way, I am fanning it. So you can notice it has gotten hotter. So now I, I'm going to start already. But also before you put and start ironing it on a cloth, you first make sure you put it in the water. Remember, we cleaned it with soil. And so there's some dirt on it. So you touch it on water. You can imagine the soil that was under. Those are the soil particles there. Then I just wipe it off. Like that. Then of course I iron. Like my fire is actually cooling. I'm going to have to blow it. So normally what I do is I don't iron all the clothes. I only iron maybe my clothes for church or maybe my clothes for traveling, or my clothes for, okay, clothes that I don't use like on a daily routine. Like I just don't use it always. The other ones I iron, like this one, I always use it, but not for staying home. Otherwise, if you're to iron everything, it is not very easy to use a box to iron a heap of clothes because it takes real work. lovely people guys do you have iron boxes in your countries or whatever you're watching me from please let me know where you're watching me from guys do you have iron boxes or you people only iron with electricity 
please let me know in the, in the comment section if you have ever used an iron box before or you guys use something different from this or even if you use something like this please let me know in the comment section i want to know if there's anyone out there who's living a life similar to mine guys so, thanks a lot for watching this particular video guys otherwise is this your first time watching a video on my channel i mean if it's a yes why are you being not subscribed like why are you not subscribed to this channel guys please go ahead already and click that one subscribe and join the family guys and let's i mean you're surely going to love everything that i put on this channel and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that in case of any upload you'll be the very first person to get the update guys thanks a lot i'm out i'm doing well i mean i am